What is going on, people? Got some more gameplay from Black Ops 2. Uh, this is Strike Force mode. Uh, this is Capel Terminal. These are side missions to the main campaign, which, as you're going through the campaign, you can pick what you want to, basically what part you want to play on, basically, if you want to do this mission or that mission. Um, what you're going to see now is you're playing normally, at the press of a button, you can zoom out into what they're calling Overwatch mode. Now, with this Overwatch mode, you can survey the uh, the battleground, basically. You see where the enemies are coming from. You can see them right at the top there in red. You can see you've got to secure this, and you can basically tell your team to go that way. So, he, he's marked it off. He wants the team to go and secure there. Now, he looked at one of the team members, and he pressed the button, and he zoomed straight back into that team member. So, you can switch between what members you play as. The guy he started off with had a red dot on the gun. This isn't a red dot. Um, this looks amazing. It's like a sh an arm cannon that fires out like a, a noob tube grenade. If you notice the grenade indicator as well, the way it works, you can actually see the dip of the grenade now when he fires it. Get ready, it's going to come up again, I believe, in a moment. If you look in the far distance, you can kind of see the dip of the grenade, so you know how it's going to dip. Here again, he's going into Overwatch mode. So the players, his squad, are still fighting the enemies. They're now AI controlled. They're doing everything. From this point, you can direct them where you want them to go, whether you want them to take cover here or there. So it's not just like playing normal, you know, first-person shooter going through levels. You can actually get like a strategic idea. Here he's marked the enemy. So uh, the squad is going to go and uh, try to defeat the enemy. He's marked the enemy again, and the squad goes for the defeat. Um, there we've got one of those sentry guns coming in, it looks like, one of those little um, wally machines coming in. Um, they said that in this you can actually control that as well. If you look at the wally machine um, while you're in overwatch mode, instead of you going into you know one of your squad members to control them, you can go and control the, the wally machine, basically. Um, this, I mean, personally, I think this is this is amazing. Uh, obviously, it's not going to work for multiplayer. It's going to be a little bit different, obviously. Uh, there may be an Overwatch mode. Who knows? You could have maybe one person on your on your uh, your team doing Overwatch mode all the time, calling out orders, telling everybody, right, you've got two people here, you've got two people here. There you go. There was an Overwatch mode there. He looked at the Wally machine. I'm going to call it a Wally machine because you know it drives around. He's like Wally, and now he's controlling the Wally machine. Um, that they've also said, like, basically, these are extra missions you can do. You don't have to do all of them. You can pick which ones you want to do. They're like extra parts of the campaign. So you go through the campaign as normal, but with this, it has something different. I think it's very strategic, and um, I'm liking what they're doing with this game. They're really trying to do something different. So for everybody that thinks, oh, this looks shit, you wanted something different, so now you've got it. Uh, anyway, this has been no time. I'll give you more info when I get it. Peace.